Hey there and welcome to a new video. In today's session, we will solve a complex SQL interview question. First, let us go through the question. So, we have to write a SQL query to determine the number of days between the first shipped order and the first delivered order for each customer. Now, if a customer does not have both type of orders, they should not be considered in the final result. And there is another condition which is first delivered order after shipped order should be considered in the result. This point we will understand better when we go through the schema. So here is the table created which is the customer orders table. Let us query the table and see the basic schema. So we have the table with order ID, customer ID, order date and status. So these are the four columns which are available. Now let us go through the expected output and see what actually we are trying to obtain. So here is the same input table which we saw in SSMS and this is the expected output that we are trying to obtain. Now the question is write a query to determine the number of days between the first shipped order and the first delivered order. So in the status column we can see that there are different status. There are shipped orders, there are delivered orders and similarly multiple status will be available within the status column. So we have to find the difference between order date corresponding to the status shipped and delivered for each customers and there is a condition that is shipped order and delivered order should be the first one given there is one more condition that is whenever there is a delivered status which is coming before shipped status for a particular cu customer we have to consider the delivered status for that particular customer which comes after the shipped status so that we will understand when we look at the example for customer 1003 in normal cases, a delivery will only happen after we ship something. So delivery will not happen before shipping. So it is obvious that we have to calculate the difference between delivered date which comes after the shipped status. So when we go through this 1003, we can see that there is a order date corresponding to status delivered on 2-8-2024. Then coming to shipped status, we can see that for the same customer, there is a shipped order date on 10-8-2024. It is obvious that delivery will not happen before shipment hence we do not consider this delivery order date which is coming before the shipped status instead we will have to consider the delivered status which is coming after the shipped status so here the difference will be the difference between date 15 8 2024 and 10 8 2024 so the value for that particular customer will be 5 it will not be 8 which is the difference of 10 08 2024 minus 02 08 2024 so for customer 1003 the value should be 5 and for customer 1001 the value should be 1 which is the difference of 02 08 2024 minus 01 08 2024 so the difference between delivered date and the shipped order date will be 1 so that is what we are trying to obtain in this query now let us go back to ssms and see how we can write query for the same so we will start with a select clause. Select star from customer order table. So the same table we are going to use, which is the customer orders table. And now we are going to filter the result such that we only have records corresponding to status shipped. So where status equal to shipped. So in the first part, we are going to calculate the least or the first ship date for each customer. So the status will be shipped and now execute this and we will get orders only for ship the status. Now we have to calculate the first ship the status for each customer. So for that, what we will do is we will write a window function which is the first value window function, first underscore value, open and close parenthesis and inside the expression should be order date. Now we are going to make use of the over close, over open and close parenthesis, partition will be based on customer id customer id and then the order by clause should be based on the order date column order underscore date which will be in ascending order here we have to write one order by clause also order by order date in ascending order and this will be the first ship date column that is first shipped date execute this and we will get a new column which is the first ship date corresponding to each customer so we have a first ship date corresponding to each customer let me execute that once again because when i executed earlier i haven't selected the where clause execute once again and we will have the customer id along with first shipped date for each customer 
now we will do a simple distinct on customer id column and first ship date column so that we will have ship date with respect to each customer only in the final result so distinct customer underscore id and the second column which we require is the same column which is first value and the second column which we require is the first ship date column which will give us distinct value from this column along with customer id execute this and we will get the combination of customer id and first ship date with respect to each customer so this is the first part now we obtain the ship date with respect to each customer which is the first ship date so we will give the ct name as first ship date so this is the first ct now we will place this ct inside a parenthesis and we will write the second part of the query now we have to write another select clause which is based on the customer order table but here we are going to create a relationship with the customer order table and the first ship date cte and then from there we will filter the record depending upon our requirement we will see how we can do that so select from customer underscore orders so this is the first table and we will give an alias name as c and now we are going to create a left join with the previous cte which is first ship date cte copy the cte name and this will be given an alias name as s now we are going to write the join condition that is c dot customer underscore id so the join will be based on customer id column s dot customer underscore id now we have created a join with respect to customer order table and the first ship date cte now execute and see what is the result we are getting execute now we have a result where we join the initial base table which is the customer order table and the cte which we obtained now from here we require only records for delivered so that we can obtain the actual delivered order date with respect to each customer so what we will do here is we will write a where clause where status will be delivered execute and see what is the result we are getting execute and we have a result where we have the customer id order date and status will be delivered then the customer id from the second table that is the cte table and the first ship date from the cte so now what we have to do here is we know that this order date corresponding to status delivered so this will be the delivered order date now we will have to write one more condition over here which is and the order date should be greater than first ship date so for a particular customer the delivered date should be greater than ship date so now when we go through the result before executing that we can see that for customer id 103 we have two different record but in the first record we can see that it is 2024-08-02 and here the ship date is 2024-08-10 which is greater than the delivered date which is not valid we require the third record which is the record corresponding to order date that is the delivered date 2024-08-15 and first ship date should be 2024-08-10 which will give us the difference of 5 so we have to write one more condition over here that is order date should be greater than first shipped date so that is the column which we are going to compare that is order date should be greater than first shipped date now execute and we will get only two rows where we have customer id 101 and 103 now what we have to do is we have to find the difference between order date that is the deliver date and the first ship date so before doing that we will select only required columns the column which are required are s dot star so that we get all the columns from the cte which is first ship date and we require only selected columns from the base table so from the base table we require order date so c dot order underscore date and this will be named as first deliver date delivered date so these are the only three columns which we require execute and we will get only three columns execute and we have only three columns now our aim is to calculate the difference between first ship date and first delivered date now for that we will write one more function over here which is date diff date diff open and close parenthesis the first argument will be day and the second argument will be the first ship date this is the first argument and second argument will be order date order underscore date which corresponds to first delivered date and this will be the difference between first 
ship date and first delivered date now execute and see what is the result we are getting execute and we have a result where we have a new column which is the difference between the ship date and delivered date so we can see that for customer 1001 the difference is 1 and corresponding to customer 1003 the difference is 5 and this was the same output that we were looking to obtain also it is not necessary that we require the first ship date and first deliver date in the final result but only for understanding purpose i'm taking the two additional columns so this is how we can solve the query the schema to create the table will be provided in the description you can try solving this question on your own and if you find any interesting solutions you can comment the solutions and it will be helpful for others as well hope you like this video thanks for watching and subscribe for more Thank you.